Okay, there we go. <clears throat> you open your Studio 3D Max. Close that shit. Okay. <clears throat> right away, go up to your uh, little king of dirt here where it says create shape. Click that. And then you go down and select text right here. Okay. <clears throat> Just for an example. You can draw a line or whatever, but I'll select text and I'll write uh, Marcel's name. Two L's, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the standard size is usually eight feet four inches. If you got your settings, um, however you customize them, um, bring it down to four feet. Four feet is about standard for a sign, I guess. Close enough, right there. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, I'm gonna place the text in the front of your port. On my right camera light is showing. <clears throat> so we place that right there. Okay. Now you go down to where it says rendering right here. Click that and you're going to enable in render and enable in viewport. And now you'll see this is sticking up a little bit without extruding it. Okay. Um, so at this is the main viewport right here. You really don't need any other viewports open, you know. So now we have Marcel written right there. Okay. You want to go up to your rendering setup right here. Rendering, render setup, uh, that's right here, but you also have a teapot over here for that, you know, you can click that and that's your render setup the same, okay, the common right here, you want to assign a render, okay, I think I have mental ray as default on mine, <clears throat> might not be, you're going to assign render right here, yeah, right there, you can focus for one of it, yeah, so we're on default scan line, we want to use the mental ray. You, know, you want to get in the habit of using mental ray as often as you can because it's just really awesome. You know. Next thing you want to do is run up to the renderer tab right here, click on that, and then scroll down. Grab this right here and scroll down. And it's going to talk about your camera shader. You want a camera shader output checked right here. And you're going to be using that later. Your camera shader is going to be on. Your lens is going to be on. Your volume's on. Okay, leave that open and grab your uh, your material options. <clears throat> okay. Now that you have your renderer as your mental ray, when you click standard, see these yellow guys right here? These are treasures right here. These are guys that you're going to get with mental ray. So since you're using mental ray and you're going to use mental ray materials, you double click on mental ray and see how it grabs this first spot right here and just kind of blacks it out to gray. Okay, that orb is still there and you're going to use it because when you go to your surface right here, you click right here and it opens up what kind of surface output you want, checkered, cellular, combustion, composite, dent, edge, we'll grab glow, okay, glass fall off, see where it says glow right here, double click on glow and see what happens here, it defaults to brown, you've got your orb in there on your surface but it defaults to brown. Okay, we're going to put uh, Marcel red, since Marcel is gay, okay, and we're going to make him pink, okay, well, that's going to be our neon color right there, see how it grabbed right there, now it's pink, okay, we're going to grab this and drag it down to all three aspects of our rendering, put it right there, put it right there, it's kind of interesting to do this through the camera lens, <clears throat> okay, uh, our little brightness is set at three right now, Okay, we're going to hype that up to 5 and see what happens, and it's pretty much set, but back here, when we left this open, the reason we left this open was because the renderer right here where you check this output, you need to grab this default output shader, just click on it and hold for a second, now you can drag this puppy over and just drop it into any empty spot, doesn't matter where you put it, okay, window appears, instance, yes, instance, okay, and you're good to go. Okay, see how it blocked out right there? Now that's your rendering output that this thing is talking to. So we hit a render real quick. Now we're going to see Marcel glowing in purple. Oh, whoops. It helps if you uh, assign the damn material. God, I do that a lot. Okay, let's assign the material. Now, control or shift Q. Shift Q will render real quick. And now we got Marcel glowing in the neon. Okay, uh, neon pink. That's cool. That's cool. But it's just not quite gay enough. Okay, since Marcel is really, really super gay, we're gonna go ahead and grab a line right here, and we'll even make him a little gay heart. Now, see how we have an unchecked 
We haven't unchecked the enable and render yet. So our line still has some substance. Okay, see how this is working right here? I can make a really big heart, but uh, Michelle may not be that good. So, you know, I just make a little gay heart right here for him, you know. And he asks, you may ask, why does it have to be gay? Well, it's just because it is, you know. <laughs> Sorry, you deal with it. <laughs> sure, Marcel has to deal with it, and he's probably going to kill me for doing this to him because this is on fucking YouTube. <laughs> Okay, now we're just going to grab this and make some kind of weird little wave thing right here. You know, like you see neon stuff at clubs and whatnot. As you make your lines, the line's set at one inch. You know, and of course you can set it for whatever you want, you know, for thickness. Uh, see how the thickness is right here? Okay. You can make it thicker or thinner if you want, but for a neon glow, I would suggest staying with the, uh, you know, uh, one inch. And you just grab this guy right here and drag it over. And grab it here and drag it over. And again, you can select this guy right here. Since you already got this guy purple, okay, and you want this guy red, okay, because you're going to take this to the heart right here, okay. So you just grab the color real quick and change the color. So we want it there. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. We'll drag it down, of course, and copy the rest of the colors in. Copy him down to there, got it. And we're copying, yes, there we go. Okay, now we got this one here, well, let's make this one blue, okay? Again, you color Lume right there. Okay, we're gonna grab this guy, grab a blue, bring it down, copy it, bring it down there, copy, okay? Let's bring this to that part right there, that's the line. <clears throat> Let's rename this material real quick. We'll name it uh, Blue, in fact. Because for some reason the Studio 3D Max just does stuff like that. It, it wants to sort out what you've got and what you don't have. and It wants to keep track of stuff, kind of like your mom, you know. <laughs> so you uh, shift Q or render. And since we're all set at the same glow, everything's glowing in neon. See how even the blue is glowing in neon. So as we wrap lines around our building or whatnot, we could really, really, you know, wrap a whole lot of neon around our building. Uh, we're not limited, you know, we can use as much as we want or as little as we want, make it as tacky as you want or as gay as Marcel wants. Gay Marcel, this is not a gay bar, okay? But see how the neon works there? This is how you do it. Just follow my steps, step by step. Okay, guys? Take it easy.